Hi, third grade students and families. Here I'm back with unit one, week two packet. And the trick words that you need to be focusing on again are, again, from, put, was, friend, month, want, and when. So be able to, of course, read them and spell them in your writing. We use trick words a lot in our everyday language. Okay, so the unit one letter was actually in last week's packet, and um, it's probably wise to hang on to those letters because even when we move on to unit one week two, that information still applies. So let's look at the first page in this week's packet. It says, do the fill in the word activity. Have your child read the sentence and select the correct word from the box to complete the sentence. Write the word on the line and reread the completed sentence. Mark the word you selected as a closed syllable or a closed syllable exception. Box any glued sounds and use each word in the box only once. Okay, so let's see. We have stamp, say it, gold, drink, cramp, and blind was already used in the first sentence. And they show you an example. The dog helps the blind man cross the path. Okay, so it says Tom drank the cold blank fast. What word makes sense there? Tom drank the cold drink, right? So you're going to write drink on this line. Now, since I'm going to have a hard time writing there and it's going to look squished, I-N-K pink ink is a glued sound. It is not a closed syllable exception, but it doesn't say the I has a an altered sound because it's followed by that N. So when you write it, you're going to just, for number two, you're going to mark that as a closed. Drink is a closed syllable, okay? I and K, you want to box in though because it is a glued sound, okay? So that is number two. Number three, I'll do with and I'm going to circle that in red so you know that drink goes with number two, and that's how you would mark it up, okay, as a closed syllable. Now I'll change my pen color for number three, okay? Dad will get a blank to send this. Dad will get a, I'm thinking it's male, he has to get a stamp, right? Now, stamp. A, M, ham, am is another glued sound that you should box in, but it's still a closed syllable, correct? Okay, so number three is stamp, and you would mark it just like that. Number four, Bill has a bad blank in his left leg. Bill has a bad, let's do this one in green, Cramp makes sense. And look, there's that A, M, ham, am. It's a glued sound. Box it in when you write it on the line. And this is a closed syllable as well. Right. Okay. And last but not least, Fred sold the blank ring. Okay, we have the word gold left. Now be careful. Just like I-N-D, find, ind they boxed it in and that I is long because that is a closed syllable exception, just like they marked there for number one. Okay, this was number one, sorry. And then number five, we have gold. O-L-D is also a closed syllable exception with that long vowel O. So when you go to mark that, that is not a closed syllable. It's a closed syllable exception, right? So make sure you get that X on there. And when I look, I-N-D, find, ind is a closed syllable exception there too. So only two words in that box were closed syllable exceptions, okay? 
All right, let's go down to the bottom part. It says, find the ah sound activity. Have your child circle all the words below where the A has an ah sound, like in the words wash or squash. So we've been learning that after a W or Q, U, the A typically says ah, like in swap. So they circled it. Brand, what do we think? Mm -mm. Wasp, definitely, circle. Plan, okay, how about f all, all? That one technically, yes, when it's A-L-L, -L, in that particular glued sound, it sounds like ah, so that is correct. How about rang? No, that's long A. Watch, yeah, it sounds like an ah. Strap. No, that's short A. Mall. There's that A L L ball all. Definitely. Pack. Short A. Nope. Crash. Short A. Scratch. Short. How about this word? Squash. Yeah, that was in the directions. Swamp. Yep, after a W. And last but not least, patch. No. So you should have circled, in addition to the one they circled for you, you should have circled six more words there. Okay, on this page it says read the words, circle the words containing a closed syllable, and cross out any word without a closed syllable. So let's go ahead and I'll use blue for this one. Notice, remember, closed syllable rules is it has one vowel that is short, because it's closed in by at least one consonant after the vowel, okay? One vowel that is short, closed in by at least one consonant after the vowel. So look at this one, same. That's not short, that's long, and there's two vowels there. So that's not a closed syllable, cross it out. Text, yeah, that's a short vowel closed in by that blend, circle it craft one vowel that's short closed in by that ft blend after hmm what do we think plain that's long not closed those are actually vowel consonant e words that we'll get to later how about this one P -i -n -ch. one vowel it's short closed in by this digraph blend circle it block one vowel that's short, closed in by that digraph CK after. Now be careful with this one. This one was on last week's packet. I know you might look at it and say, mm-mm, two vowels. But remember, the E is only there because a word can't end in the English language with what? V. So this one is technically, I know kids every year don't believe me. It's technically a closed syllable because that's solve. That That is a short ah. Okay, E's only there to help out that V. How about w alts? Ah, w alts. Yeah, even though it follows and it doesn't sound like a, ah, it's because it's following that W, but it is a short vowel sound closed in by that three letter blend at the end. Now, this one, t w ein, that's a vowel consonant E, not a closed syllable that's got a long vowel. Swap. What do we think? Yeah, even though again it sounds like ah, it's still a short vowel sound closed in by that consonant. T I'm. Is I a short vowel? No. Blast. Yep, short vowel closed in by that ST blend. Stretch. One vowel short closed in by that trigraph TCH. And pro, look, there's nothing after that vowel closing it in. That's why it's not short. It's a long O. That's called an open syllable. We'll get there. All right, so when you go to mark those up, you can spell them, write each one that you circled from up here. See how they put sun on this line? If I were you, I would come over and do text over here. You're going to spell it out and you're gonna mark it up. You know they're all closed syllables because the vowel is short. So you're going to put your brief for the short vowel, 
and mark it as closed. And you're going to um, do that for each one of those. Look at solve. I'll do a couple that are maybe trickier with you on here the best I can on the computer. I'm using my mouse to do this. Solve is technically, remember, a short vowel, and the E's just silent because it's there for the V, okay? And that is a closed syllable, I promise. Um, I want to touch base about waltz and swap in class. For example, swap. We know that's an A, even though it sounds like a short O. The way we mark that vowel, because it's not saying A, ah, we mark it with that one-eyed monster symbol up above it that looks like this. Okay, we don't really use the brev or the breve. You can say it either way. You can mark your blends up, sure. Okay, but just know they're all closed syllables when you mark them. You're going to want to do that with every word that you put in here, and it will fill up every line down below. Okay, moving on to the next page. Read the sentence. Write the correct sound-alike word from the box on the lines below. Okay, this is knowing the difference between which and which. W-H-I-C-H -H is usually asking a question, okay, when you have a choice. Or W-I-T-C-H is that female with magical powers. All right, so let's see. Which drink do you want with lunch? If it's this witch, we're going to circle it with red. If it's this witch, think of a Halloween color, circle it with orange. And then I'll circle my number to indicate which one we chose. Okay. Which drink do you want with lunch? You're giving an option. So it's W-H-I-C-H. -H. You're going to write that on the line. And remember, it's the beginning of a sentence, so you should be using a capital letter. Number two, will we find a witch by the damp swamp? Yeah, this one is the female witch, W-I-T-C-H. Number three, do you know which chimp is most wild? That's an option, which chimp, and that is W-H-I-C-H. -H. Number four, the old witch had a pet rat. I think that's the female witch, W-I-T-C-H for number four. And last but not least, which dog ran past the champ? It's an option. Look at that pattern on this page, actually. That's W-H-I-C-H. -H. Make sure, again, first word in the sentence should start with a capital W. Now, the one below just wants you to create one sentence for each sound-alike word. So you're going to come up with a sentence for W-H-I-C-H -H, and then come up with a sentence for W-I-T-C-H. Double, triple check. Did you start with a capital and did you end with good punctuation for your sentence? Okay, on this page it says, read the words in the box. Draw a line to match the glued sounds or close syllable exceptions in the word. All right, so let's take a look. We have stall. What's the glued sound there? A-L-L. -L, you can box it in. Rhyming with, or in this case it is rhyming, but it has, look over here on this side. We have another A-L-L -L ball all. Stall and tall have the same glued sound. We're going to draw a line and match in that box. Okay, mild, what's our, this one has a closed syllable exception because that has a long I, I-L-D, wild, ild. Right, do we see another word on this side with I-L-D, wild, ild? Yes, so we have mild matching with child. How about this one? Stand, what's our, yeah, A-N, fan, an is a glued sound. And look at this one, R ant rant. Those two have the same glued sound in them. Okay, moving over here. I-N-D, find, ind. That's a closed syllable exception. Do you see one over here that has it? Yep, down here. I-N-D, find, ind. This word is find matching with bl blind. Good. 
per ank. Now this ank is actually a glued sound. Remember, I know it sounds like it could be, kids get this one mixed up a lot, ank and ang. Those are glued sounds, not closed syllable exceptions, okay? They just have the different A sound because of the N after it. Tank, tank and prank. They actually rhyme too. Those two. And then now OLD, cold, old, is a closed syllable exception. And I see it in both of these words. We have sk, old, scold, and g, old, gold, match. All right, come down here. Stamp. We have a glued sound in there. A M ham am. Do you see one over here? There it is in the word ham, right? So we have stamp matching with ham. J Olt, O L D, Colt, Olt is a closed syllable exception. And yes, you should see O L T, Colt, Olt there. We have jolt and bolt, right? And then look at this glued sound a l l ball all for fall and a l l all rhyme all right i n d i c is one of our closed syllable exceptions i n d find ind here's an i n d on this side so we have kind rhyming with grind good okay ING, ring ing is a glued sound. Swing, rhyming with what? Bring. You can box it in and glue it. Or draw a line to attach it, I mean. Okay, now these ones don't necessarily rhyme because notice it doesn't, they don't both end with it. But we have AM, ham, am in that word, and AM, ham, am in this word. Bull, amp. Slam, lamp and slam, match. Good work. Okay, and lastly on this page, um, it says read and tap out the word. Write the letters that represent the sounds. Remember, digraphs and trigraphs make one sound, so they get one tap with one finger. Glued sounds get one tap with two or three fingers glued together. Write the digraphs, trigraphs, or glued sounds on one line. So um, be careful because if it's a blend, like in this word, b -l, when we tap it, we tap it separate. We do b -l, but we keep this I-N-K pink ink together. Okay, so that's what the first one would look like. b -l, ink. How about this one? We have a blend. Keep the blend separate. That's why they get separate underlines when you mark them. G, R, and then I, N, D, find, ind is a closed syllable exception. Okay, that stays on one line. S, L, blend separate, but ang is a glued sound that goes together and gets one tap. L, a, m, p. Look at all the lines here. There, there's just blends. There's no glued sounds, no digraphs, no trigraphs. So when you tap out cl, um, p, it's actually five taps. K, l, a, m, p, clump. How about this one? Ch, there, there is a digraph. C, H goes together. And then unk, U, N, K, junk, unk. That's a glued sound. So U and K goes together on that line. Okay, J, Olt, J, don't forget O-L-T, Colt, Olt is a closed syllable exception. Squat, squat, S, now Q, U, buddy letters always go together. And then ah, even though it's an A, sounding like an ah, and the N sound t. And last but not least, sk, old. Blend is separate, sk, but old, O-L-D, cold, old, is a closed syllable exception. It stays together on the line. Excellent work. Thanks for joining me this week.